He comes to us today walking across the sea of life where it seems that life has gone completely haywire. We see all of the calamities that's happening. Many of them are calamities of nature. Many of them are calamities that humanity inflict upon other human beings. But friends, this is my hope. My faith is in Jesus Christ. My hope is in Jesus Christ. My future is in Jesus Christ. Amen. And regardless of what's happening in the world, regardless of how much fear and doubt and, and chaos comes into the world, I have this promise from my God. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. But I will go with you to the very end. Oh, hallelujah. 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 He saves us from the catastrophes that we fear. My grace is sufficient for you. So, the controlling motive for our new year should be fear not, because God knows who we are. Be not afraid, it is I. Put your trust in me, whether you have physical problems, whether you have physical hunger, whether you have a material need, my God is able. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, let's quickly go on here to the healing of the blind man, or the man born blind in John the ninth chapter. Christ is the source of life. He is the illumination that brings us into His presence. He is the source of real life because He is the Son of God. It's interesting to note the progression in the man's understanding of Jesus. <clears throat> in the 17th verse of John 9, he knows Jesus simply as a man, or verse 11, uh, really. And then in verse 17, he speaks to, as a, to him as a prophet. You see, Jesus is gradually revealing who he is. First a man, then he's a prophet, and finally comes to believe in Jesus as the Son of God in verses 15 through 18. You see, Jesus does not dump all of theology on us all at once. He leads us and guides us and directs us, instructs us, and we come to the knowledge of God through continually fellowshipping with Him, continually reading His Word. And friends, do stay in the Word. Do stay in prayer. Because this is our vital link to our sustenance, to our salvation, and to our ticket out of this chaos in which we live. The raising of Lazarus in John the 11th chapter, by this miracle, we perceive that the sincere sympathy of the Son of God is with those who have sorrow and grief. By this miracle, Jesus revealed his power over death, over hell, over the grave. John the Apostle was fully convinced that Jesus had the power to resurrect. And he can bring life to our hearts and soul today. He has the power to resurrect our family. He has power to give you a new life and a new future. And in conclusion, I want to say to you today, we are not on our way to death. We're on our way to resurrection. We're on our way to life everlasting. 
Christ makes this possible for us, and this life that he makes possible can grow and reproduce itself. So during this new year, of which we're just beginning, I believe we need to believe and live so as to persuade others that what we have experienced, they can experience. Yes. And that they can have joy unspeakable and full of glory even in the midst of the chaos in which we live. Yeah. Christ indeed is the Son of God. Right. And He should also be Lord of our lives. 